For the past couple of years, players of Star Wars The Old Republic have discussed their opinions on if the game is too easy. This has been seen through the various community forum posts and Reddit discussions that have been created. Throughout these discussions of difficulty, I and other players have challenged ourselves to see what group content can be soloed in this game. I've personally spent a lot of my in-game time soloing world bosses, master mode flashpoints, and much more. With that being said, I wanted to attempt a new interesting challenge to see how much the game could be pushed in its current state. Today, we're seeing if a player can solo a world boss with only fists. Now, to answer this question, we have to look at three important things. Number one, the setup. Number two, the class and spec. And number three, executing the plan. This isn't just something we can walk into, so a plan of attack needs to be done. Let's begin with number one. To begin this process, we first need to know what world bosses can be soloed while still having a weapon. If we can't solo a boss even with a weapon and optimized gear, there's no way we can solo it with only fists. By attempting multiple boss fights with level sync over the past two years, I have successfully soloed the world boss of Coruscant, Dramancas, Terrace, Nar Shaddaa, Alderaan, Corellia, Iocap, and a Dark vs. Light Champion. Okay, so there are clearly a lot of world bosses. So how do we know which one to solo with fists? I will first remove any world boss that doesn't have the fearful buff. This buff indicates that a fight is a true heroic boss encounter. So the bosses of Iocath, Corellia, and the Dark vs. Light Champion will not be attempted, since they don't have this buff. Second, we need to remove boss encounters that are a DPS race. Meaning that if a boss can enrage if you don't kill it quick enough, and there's no way to hide in cover, it won't be attempted. After all, we're only using fists, so we're bound to hit an enrage timer. The bosses of Drum and Koss and Terrace will not be attempted, since there's no cover, and these bosses just about hit the enrage timer when fighting them normally. So this leaves us with the bosses of Coruscant, Nar Shaddaa, and Alderaan. Now we can easily eliminate two of these bosses due to a simple principle. In order to solo the Coruscant boss encounter, you need to have your companion out and be constantly moving away from the boss. If I'm using fists, I'll almost always be around the boss, so I'll likely die almost instantly. So due to this, the Coruscant boss will not work. With the Alderaan boss encounter, the droid you fight will hit an enrage timer, but you can cheese the fight by hiding around a corner and DPSing the boss with a ranged ability. This strategy will also not work, as I need to be up close and attacking the boss with fists, so the Alderaan boss isn't an option. This leaves us with a single world boss, the droid from Nar Shaddaa. It's possible to fight this boss head on, and I can run around a crate to not be attacked even when the boss is enraged. In conclusion, I can attack the enraged boss up close, and then quickly run around the crate right before dying. So that's it! Case closed! All we have to do is remove our weapon and fight the Nar Shaddaa boss, right? Well, not exactly. Now, in order to solo a world boss without a weapon, we need to have some sort of healing arsenal. After all, we're going to be hurting a lot, so we need heals. Since my main character is a commando, and he also has strong off-healing abilities, he will be my class of choice. But what I soon learned about my commando is that there's a side effect to removing your weapon. Okay, time to open my character sheet, and here we go. Wait, why can't I use any of my other abilities? It's only letting me spam medical probe. That's right, without a weapon, almost all of my abilities are useless. This also means that the utility points for my class were also pretty much useless as well. In this footage, I'm set to the damage dealing spec called Gunnery, so all I can do at this point is spam medical probes and punch. I knew right off the bat that this wouldn't work well, so I switched to the commando healing spec. This helped a lot, since being a healer allowed me to use advanced medical probes and Koto bombs without a weapon. So it was settled. I'd be a healing commando who would use his healing abilities when needed and would punch the boss until he was defeated. It would be rough, but it could be done. Now all I needed to do was attempt the boss fight. 
Since I had done this boss fight multiple times before with weapons, I planned on keeping my strategy mostly the same. I would continue to attack the enemy, heal up when necessary, and continue the process until I eventually won the battle. So, my journey began. Now only a couple minutes in, the fight was going very well. Since the boss would take a while to enrage, I could freely attack and not really have to worry about anything. Eventually, the boss would of course enrage, so I started using my strategy. I would run around the crate and occasionally punch the huge droid. Also, at this point, it appeared I had a couple of players watching the events unfold. As it's incredibly confusing to see a player punching a world boss, one of the players came over and asked me what I was doing. I, of course, answered with the most appropriate response. Gaming. I also had another player hit me with the gunt punching words of you can't solo the world boss. Understandably, I look pretty ridiculous, so I could see why the player said this. Anyways, the group later left to move to another instance and I was all alone fighting the boss. So I was just sitting there, punching the boss and hiding, half awake while watching some YouTube videos on my phone, and then... <coughs> well crap, I died. So, this fight was pretty much the equivalent of watching paint dry. I was getting pretty bored, and I slipped up when the boss was still fairly high HP since I wasn't very focused. But this fight did answer our original question. We now know that this world boss can be successfully soloed with only fist, as the strategy of punch and run would never change for the rest of the fight. But to solo the boss in its entirety, you'd have to be willing to put up with the excessive amount of time it would need to remain very focused. I'd soloed a boss in the past for two hours, but that was pretty awful, and I didn't want to suffer like that again. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But even though we reached our conclusion, I still felt that I had to fully solo this boss in one way or another, as the words from that player echoed deep in my soul. You can't solo the world boss. So I did what anyone would do. No! That's right ladies and gentlemen, I decided to solo the world boss with a weapon. I was already at the boss and it would be quick, so why not? Wait, where did the boss go? Uh, oh, what? Oh, true? Yeah, fun times. Anyways, in conclusion, we learned that a world boss can be soloed with only fists by having time and patience. I found that through these discussions of difficulty, it has opened up the player base to attempting new challenges and creative ideas to see how far the game can be pushed. It's really cool to see unique things being done in game. Now, should the discussion on the difficulty of the game continue to happen? Absolutely, but that's a topic for a different day. With that being said, I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, then make sure to leave a like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.